Hi. Cine Recaps here. Today I'm going to explain a sci-fi and romance movie that came out in 2010. So let's get started. One of our main characters, Rebecca, talks to her unborn child while petting her stomach and starts to recall her childhood. When she was younger, she visited her grandfather's home on the beach and met a boy named Thomas, about whom she became very curious. One day, he came to pick her up at her house, and they both went out cycling. From that point on, they grew very close and started to spend every day together. On one occasion, Rebecca even pretended to be asleep so she could sneak away for Tommy kissed Rebecca goodbye after she told him she was moving to Japan, and the next night, as she was taking a bath, she blushed as she left the house. Tommy calls Rebecca and informs her that he will be saying goodbye to her at the port. She waits impatiently for him, but Tommy never shows up, making her boat ride very depressing. When Rebecca returns to Harbor Town 12 years later, she first goes to her grandfather's house, where she is more aware of the passing of time than ever. She then goes to Thomas's house to meet him, but his mother informs her that the boy no longer lives there. When Rebecca asks him if he still remembers her, the woman replies that Tommy insisted they travel to Japan for years. She then gives her the address of the boy's new home. When Rebecca enters, she notices a woman lying. Rebecca responds that she would like to go as well, but Tommy doesn't want to go into too much detail. He explains his plans to sabotage a polluting company with his group of environmental activists later at Tommy's house. When Rebecca inquires about the strategy, Tommy leads her to a room where he has a sizable cockroach farm and explains that they will transport all of these cockroaches in backpacks and release them in the factory. Tommy bids his parents farewell and departs with Rebecca on their much-anticipated journey to their destination. Tommy is told by Rebecca to stop the car so she can get out and pee. Rebecca hears a crash as she steps outside to use the restroom and is confused when she turns around. She returns to the car as she continues to look at her dear love's lifeless body. Rebecca discovers a note in the notebook Tommy left her a few days later. The letter stated that he would wait the remainder of his life for her to come back. Looking at Tommy's images and videos on her computer, Rebecca awakens. She attends his funeral the following day, where she sees a flower and has an inspiration. When Rebecca sees Tommy's dad crying, she goes to console him. Later, he visits Rebecca's home with his wife. When Tommy's mother asks the main character to explain why she invited her, she demonstrates a form of genetic cloning through pregnancy and explains that she would be the one to give birth to the child. Tommy Rebecca is informed by Tommy's mother that, although they are both atheists and have raised their son in a similar manner, they believe that doing so is immoral and must accept the faith that has been bestowed upon them. When her husband starts to agree with Rebecca that it was just luck that provided them with the chance to get Tommy back and kept the woman in check, they both left the scene. On her own the following day, Rebecca and Ralph meet. To raise Tommy in that town because he loved the sea and will undoubtedly love it again when he is born, Tommy's father accepts her proposal. Additionally, he informs her that they are leaving the city and that she still has time to change her mind, but Rebecca doesn't hesitate and has the procedure done so that she can give birth to the man she has loved her entire life. The person who used to be Tommy's girlfriend notices her as she leaves. She visits Tommy's grave after some time has passed and smiles because her belly has grown and she is only a few days away from giving birth to Tommy. Tommy asks his mother about his father, but Rebecca doesn't know how to tell him the whole truth, so she tells him that his father died in a car accident one day. A few days later, Rebecca is hospitalized to give birth to Tommy by cesarean section, then she walks with the baby on the beach, and by the time she realized it, Tommy was already the same age he was when they met while playing with some blankets. The women ask Rebecca not to confuse her daughter with her invitations and to try to keep her son away from Dima, as she has been bullied a lot by all the kids in the class. Rebecca is very confused by all of this, and the women notice, so the teacher steps in and starts to explain that Dima is the result of artificial insemination and that her case is similar to his because the woman gave birth to her own. When the other kids don't show up for Tommy's birthday party, Rebecca throws a temper tantrum because she can't tell her son the truth. A few days later, when they are both at the beach, Tommy falls in love with the sea as he did in the past. Rebecca tries to process all of this information and apologizes to the women, who accept her apology because they understand Rebecca. She then leaves. In the evening, Tommy departs and Mark shows up. Rebecca walks into her son's room and tells him it is time for bed. Time passes quickly, and by the time of the following scene, Tommy is once again an adult and has begun a romantic relationship with his girlfriend Monica. Rebecca is hurt because she is unable to communicate her emotions to her son, even asking his mother's approval to let Monica move in with them despite everything. Rebecca agrees, and the girl moves into the house. The girl tries to make her mother-in-law like her during the first few strange days, but she observes that she maintains some distance in their relationship. To try to make things better, she even bakes a cake, but Rebecca doesn't eat it. 
she overhears Monica telling Tommy one night as she pretends to be asleep that she needs to speak to Tommy's mother and let her know that he only loves her as his mother. Rebecca observes that her affection for her son is coming across more clearly. The following day, Tommy brings Annette over to play a joke on his mother. However, as the joke progresses, they both become very embarrassed, and Monica also witnesses this. The family situation becomes intolerable, and everyone's relationships deteriorate. The best part of this is when Tommy's real mother arrives on the scene and is puzzled to see her son's exact replica but knows in her heart that it's not him. As Tommy grows increasingly frustrated and demands an explanation, no one speaks, and the woman later departs with Rebecca at night. Tommy wakes up and goes to his mother's room to ask her what is going on, but Rebecca is unable to explain it to him, and Monica starts yelling at him to return to his room, so Tommy decides to use the restroom to spend some time alone. The following morning, as the three of them eat the most tense breakfast ever, Rebecca can tell that her son is upset because he starts to get irate while trying to salt his food and hits everything before leaving. The two women are left alone in the space and exchange perplexed glances with one another. Later, Tommy locks himself in the bathroom for a bath and doesn't come out, so the two women begin banging on the door. When Monica informs him that she is leaving, he doesn't even respond after exiting the restroom. After a brief exchange of glances between Tommy and Monica, Monica departs with her belongings. At that point, Tommy enters Rebecca's room and once more requests an explanation from her. Tommy asks Rebecca to get to the point after she gets out of bed and starts telling him everything from the beginning. Rebecca then gets up and goes to get the computer that Tommy used in his previous life. When he views all the images and videos, he immediately begins to connect the dots. He becomes enraged with his mother and demands to know her true identity before becoming depressed over his lack of identity and realizing that his entire life has been a lie and that his mother was actually the love of his life in a previous existence. When they have finished unloading all the love and tension they have had since Tommy was a child, Tommy gathers his belongings and says goodbye to Rebecca, addressing her by name for the first time. Tommy begins to cry out of rage and pain. He breaks down in Rebecca's arms and sobs. He then climbs into Rebecca's bed. The last. Thank you for watching. To receive new movie summaries, like, subscribe, and click the bell button.